Go. Good morning. Jerry Olenek here with you at uh, Green Sky Adventures. This morning we're going to run this HKS engine a little bit with the uh, intakes turned out. This is to address a specific problem that's occurred with, uh, with the Chinooks. And just be, by nature, the way the airplane is put together, we can't use any conventional pipe intake. Recently, it was discovered that, that, of course, we always knew the shorter intake would, would solve the, the, the problem that was there, but there's been so much discussion about turning the carburetors out because of the increased shake and upset carburation. So that's what we're looking at the testing this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fire this up, and uh, uh, we'll let it run a little bit, and you can see on the film just, just how it's working. Okay, clear. set of intakes than the uh, earlier engine. This is an earlier engine. That's before serial number 100600. Uh, and uh, you can tell this that the, the holes on intake flange are, are at opposite corners. On the uh, current engine, engines over serial number 600, the, the holes are, are in line with one another. So that would make a difference. And in this case, uh, I, I think we could have I could think we could have arranged this so these would be tipped down. We elected to have them tipped up a little bit. In other words, this intake could have been on the opposite side of the engine but flipped over the other way, but I think it would have been tipped down a little bit then. But it seems to be all right. Um, 
the the where the situation might get uh, uh, might decline would be uh, if you notice on sometimes on the HKS engines that that uh, when you power back rapidly and then land, especially if your landing might not be the smoothest or on your, your rough terrain, just the motion of the airplane can cause the shaking, which which affects the fueling. And then when the fueling is affected, the engine runs uh, uh, less smoothly and and it just uh, degenerates from that point. But in, uh, in normal operation, this seems like this is gonna work out okay. On this setup, we didn't have any provision on this whatsoever to to secure the carbs. Normally, uh, on these these intakes as they're delivered today, there's a there's a, a bracket up here and a spring that that adds a little bit of security to the uh, carburetor installation. And uh, there are actually some models where they're they they hook underneath the clamp and to secure the carburetor. But in in normal operation. Uh, uh, that, that ejection of a carburetor uh, just it shouldn't occur but still the safety devices should be on there if you if you get into what I like I described earlier where it would be a, a real bad shake after landing from bumping or, or, or whatever then I could see in that situation that, that you could perhaps eject the carburetor but that would that would be uh, uh, regardless probably of in or out, out in case so there we have it. Let's start it up one more time, run it again briefly, and uh, then we can we'll go from there. Clear?